see a lot of people talking about the Chaotica eyeball. It's a vocal isolation shield that's essentially just a round ball. I thought the Chaotica eyeball was severely overpriced. I thought for sure that there was a way to do it in a much more inexpensive way. So here we have it. It's pretty. You can get this on Amazon for about 17 bucks right now. If you want to spend the extra $13 for gray, fine, but I don't really care. Actually, this makes me kind of happy looking at it, so that's why I wanted this color. I was using this. I thought it worked, was working pretty well. It has like a tripod style stand. Oftentimes I'd ended up just hanging on to it like this and then singing my vocals this way. So I may as well get rid of this bulk and it would be nice to get rid of this thing. So I'm gonna be carving out this ball for the blue microphone, Bluebird. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the diameter of the top of this microphone. I'm just gonna draw a freehand since this is gonna be the part that I sing into. I'm gonna make the hole here. This will be my center. Next thing you'll need is an X-Acto knife. I'm just gonna continue to dig deeper and deeper until I get to the center. I got a hole here. Um, it's not exactly perfect, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna get, it's gonna look perfect on the outside once this is on. Now I'm gonna start carving away at this hole here. Switching to a steak knife here. It's always better to go too small than too big. It's kind of like carving a pumpkin. Let's give it a test. Looking pretty good so far. So we got the Chaotica eyeball pop filter. I ordered it last night and it came today all the way from Canada. Five inches. That means I need to make this hole much bigger. I wanna keep in mind that there is about a quarter of an inch lip. Plus this is very pliable so you can bend it out if you want it to fit. And this ripped. So be careful not to do that. As you're ripping the inside out, feel with the other side of your hand to make sure that you're not ripping through and that you're grabbing just enough material to keep a nice padding all around. It's important to get this edge as thin as you can so the edges will accept the pop filter. I would start by inserting the top edge first, make our way around. You can give it a little twist to just make it sink in and press firmly, but not too harshly. As you can see, I had a tear here, and this was my fault because I was trying to force it in before I had made the hole the right size, so be aware of that. I'm probably gonna glue that. There we go. I might actually even hit this with some glue all around the edge so this stays in here, because I can imagine it would pop out, you know, whether it be through traveling or whatever, and this is in a bag getting jostled around. I don't really see myself needing to get inside here. The only thing I could think of is to know if the microphone is facing the right way, which there's an indicator. My microphone has a logo right on the front. And if yours doesn't, which yours probably does, you can just take a marker and put a little small X on the front so you can always know that it's facing the right direction. So that is how you make your own Chaotica eyeball for under 50 bucks. Yeah, right.